Ashe and Grand Rising once again to you all, my very beautiful people. Yes, you, my highly enriched melanin people, you, the Earth's original and organic humans, aka my fellow Africans. It is I, the mystic philosopher, and yes, it is evident that I'm still here with you <coughs> on this side of reality. And welcome back to the Mystic P is talking again, aka under 15 minutes with I, the mystic philosopher. Now, I got a a comment and another question from my brother whose question I'm attempting to answer or I've been attempting to answer and for those of you that have listened to my last episode episode 52 you already know or you already know his question um, however I will repeat it here uh, just for those of you who are not, who uh, might forgotten it it said good morning my brother so if one wanted to learn how to use our native language, what is it? And how can we learn how to speak it? Unquote. A very straightforward question, I might add. And I noticed um, that he, and no doubt possible, many others like himself are disappointed, or that he's disappointed that he did not receive the answer that he's looking for or that he did not receive a direct answer to his very direct and straightforward question from me, at least not yet. Instead, I went around and around telling stories and talking about lions and sheep, etc. Consequently, he has become or he is becoming a bit impatient with me and quite understandably so. As an elder, I have learned from personal and practical experiences that young people have very little or no patience uh, with uh, with me, including even my own offspring. My own offspring, they complain. They always complain that, that, that I'm too slow for them. They complain that I think too much and, and too hard and too long. And they complain that I, I, I talk too slow and that I, I'm, I'm, and, and that I talk too much. And much too long for them. Yes, they complain, so I understand the young people think. In fact, I think they can't wait until I am completely silent. Sometimes that's the way I think. And I've also learned that patience is not seen, known, taught, or valued as a virtue anymore, especially with especially by these youths in this generation today. And I have mentioned, and as I've mentioned in one of my previous or my earlier episodes, that I am OG, a.k.a. Zero, zero G technology. And these youths of today are 4G and 5G technology. To them, I am obsolete and as good as dead. I am not even fit for their recycle bin, the way I think sometimes. Regrettably, however, what these poor and very unfortunate youths don't know, understand, understand and understand is that all of their new technologies are founded, built and established on the old technologies and that in order to truly know, understand, understand and overstand the new, they must first know, understand, understand and overstand the old and learn and that learning requires uh, great patience. And so this time my young brother sent me, this time now he sent me, uh, or to be even more precise, he posted this direct question and short comment on my YouTube channel, I quote, Come on, big brother. Why are you keeping me in the dark? What is the tongue that I should be using? Unquote. Now, please let me again remind you that the main topic of this series, this series of, of talks that I'm doing is about stress on the mind, or more correctly, the impact that this thing called stress has on the thing that we humans call mind. And that from an idealistic philosopher's perspective, the solution to this problem or to this disease called stress can or it may be found in and by understanding, understanding and overstanding the want equation. And what does the want equation say? It said want is equal to money, which is equal to stress, which is equal to unhappiness. And also by putting into practice the knowledge that can be gained from this profound equation. And the quote that I've been using and I've been using to, um, to illustrate my point is from the Adamic Race History book according to the 23rd Psalm, and I quote, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. 
and to sum up the knowledge that is or that can be gained from this equation is that you shall not want my youth. For I shall not want, you shall not want, we shall not want, or nor should we be found, nor should you or we be found wanting. But here, my brother, you are found wanting. You are found wanting the answer to your question. And from my perspective, and I've been teaching and telling you, that's not a good thing. But much, much more more on that than at another time. And, you know, when I get back to talking about want. So this time, in this episode, episode 54, I will have to be straightforward and answer his direct, answer him directly. Even though it was my honest, my very honest intention to use this, his question and the opportunity, or to use it as an opportunity to share with you some more valuable insights and perspectives that I have personally discovered and is discovering in my own search for the answer to his original question. However, and I do hope I don't piss him off any further. But as an elder, I hope that he will appreciate the fact that it is very difficult, if not impossible, for me to immediately upgrade from OG or 0G technology to 5G without compromising years of knowledge and information, years of information and data that is stored not on 5G technology, not on 5G in the cloud, but on my mental hard drive. And as the saying goes, it is difficult to teach old dogs new tricks. So I have to resort to being me. And in my straightforwardness, I will borrow a, a, a kid's story. And then a kid's story called Hidden Treasures. And it and it there's hidden treasures. It can be found on a website called, if you wish to read it, it can be found on a website called kidsworldfun.com. And it goes like this. Once there was an old man who had four sons. All four of them were very Lazy. One day the old man fell sick and was counting his last days in bed. He worried a lot about his son's future as the, the young man hesitated um, a lot to work. They're lazy. They don't like work. The sons believed that luck would favor them. The old man's health deteriorated every day and he decided to talk to his sons about it, their future. However, his sons did not listen to him. Finally, the old man decided to play a trick to let his sons realize the importance of work. He called all his sons and let them sit near him on his bed. He, he, he said that he had a treasure, uh, rather he had a treasure box with gold, uh, gold coins and expensive gems for them and wanted to share the, the treasure equally among the four of them. The young men were very happy and asked where his father had placed um, the treasure. The old man replied, I cannot exactly remember the place where I have um, hidden the treasure. However, the treasure box is buried in our land. I am really not sure about the place where I have hidden the treasure box. Even though the lazy young sons were happy, they were sad that the old man had forgotten the place where the treasure was hidden. After a few days, the old man died. The sons decided to dig the land to find the treasure box. They, they worked very hard and dug their land. They could not find any treasure, any treasure box in the land. Finally, they decided to dig a spot in their land that was a bit different from the rest of the area. The sons believed that the treasure was buried in that spot. They dug um, the specific um, spot deeply, but got nothing but water. A passerby who noticed the land and the water flowing from the spot talked to the sons about farming. Upon his advice, the four sons sow vegetable seeds and planted greens and flowering plants in their land. Since the land was very fertile and abundant uh, and with abundant water, with a f within a few weeks it became a fertile garden with nutritious vegetables and, and greens. The four sons sold the, veg um, sold the vegetables at a good price and earned a good amount of money. Then they realized that it was hard work that was referred to as treasure box by their father. Gradually the four sons overcame their laziness, worked hard, earned more money, and lived happily ever after. Moral of the story is hard work always pays. So for your information, my young brother, and in all honesty, I, the mystic philosopher, have, 
have asked the same questions and more that you have originally asked me, namely, what is our native language and how can I um, learn how to speak or utter it? And I am searching and I've been searching for the answer for myself for quite some time now and I still have not found it definitively as yet. Meaning that I have not found it and nor do I know, let alone speak the original language and the original native tongue of my most honorable, of my most honorable ancestors, aka the language of our God, gods, and the language of power and authority, if you will. In fact, I don't even know an African language, or sh should I say, I don't even know or can speak any other language or languages other than the language of my colonizers. And I am sure you will know the reasons why I won't have to get into that. I'm sure you'll figure that out. And just for your information, my diligent, diligent search include um, discovering myself, knowing myself, knowing who and what I am, going back to basics, going back to my source, seeking the truth about who and what I am, and by looking within, asking myself and above all my ancestors questions, just to name a few. However, from my very diligent search, what I have found and think that I do know, understand, understand and understand, is that my native language, meaning the original language, the original native tongue, aka the language of power, the language of the God, the language of power and authority, the language that is capable of liberating my soul, liberating my brain, my mind, my body, from the mental colonization of my malevolent oppressors, is within me, it is with, or to even be more correct, it is within, within the eye. I think that I know that it is coded and encoded within both my mental, spiritual, and physical DNA. And that with hard work, plowing and mining the fields, aka mining my mind, not only will I discover it, but it will be activated and all my will will be done. And I also think that you... My young brother, one day may come to, the re to that realization. The realization that the language is within you. The language that which you seek is within you. I do hope that answers your question. Even though I could go on a bit longer. But in the interest of time, I think that I shall just pause here. I should just pause here for today. And ask that you please join me if I went next. I'm talking again possibly in episode what, 53 or 54. Where and when I will, yeah, 54. Where and when I will continue answering, answering this, my brother's question, or speaking more on it, before getting back to talking and sharing um, with you my perspectives. This time, I will continue talking about the magical, the mystical, and the metaphysical aspect of the word want, and I'm done with it yet. And the, the command and commandment, you shall not want. I found you wanting a while ago. For I shall not want, you shall not want, we shall not want, and nor should we be found wanting. In the meantime and between time, please let me remind you, my people, that yesterday is history. It too is dead and gone. No more to come back. Tomorrow is a mystery. It too may never come. But today is a gift, which is why we call it a present day. And so I hereby implore you. I'm hereby imploring you to live for today. And by live... I mean to claim your natural birthright and just in case you, you do not know or you, might, you may have forgotten what that, it is, what that is, it is your happiness. Let no one steal your joy, my people. Let no one rob you of your joy today. Full joy today. Make the best of today. And then live, let's live and hope for tomorrow. Because tomorrow may never come, neither for you nor for I. So again, I thank you for your time and thanks for listening. I am the mystic philosopher. Ashe, 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 I say. I'll be back with much more. Ashe, I say. Trying to keep it under 15 minutes. Thanks again.